from the ispf screen okay from the ispf screen option db this is your db2 guys and option one option one so i have your library here this is your library as t6d here and then uh, i'm gonna create a table okay we're gonna need to create two tables here with a parent and child relationship guys we're gonna need to create two tables one would be your parent table one would be your child table there so first we're gonna create the parent table which would be my policy table here and output could be my data set here you can write any data set name guys system will create directly rest everything ignore doesn't matter input output that's what you need to see hit enter couple of times okay just hit enter till you get into your pds okay you know this location there is nothing new you are in your edit mode of your data set in this member now let's create a table guys let's create a table using the create syntax create table table name is policy table underscore tx6d that's your table name and the columns okay so the first one what i have is the policy number now remember guys this is db2 in db2 we use underscores not hyphens cobol all we were using hyphens and that was the practice but now we're going to need to use underscores with related to db2 guys so here one here one let's say character here let's say give a character of size 5 not null and primary key so this is will be our primary key for this particular table customer name give a varchar here generally you don't give it but just for your practice we are giving varchar here then uh, ensued amount ensued amount for this ensued amount guys give a decimal uh, you can give anything i'm giving five comma two that means total five digits guys total five digits out of that two are decimal i'm not keeping any rule for this then i have policy type here okay what kind of policy type it is so i have a character of 10 i'm gonna use with the default just for your purpose as medical type of names or policy here then the start date of the policy here start date will be a date field so when it will be starting with the default so whenever you insert a new policy number the start date will be the default one the current date expire date guys okay expire date here is the one which cannot be default okay which cannot be default and also we can use one of the case as policy status whether it is active or inactive we can put over here like this like i said when you are creating a table you need to mention the columns data types and their constraints so i have used a few of the not nulls primary key and even uh, with the default as well now along with that you need to tell in which database so i told you this is your database this is your table space to use test db and test ts9 so this is the place where you create your table now okay type all your queries and then once your query is ready you can execute now if you want to execute your query guys if you want to execute your query in a spoofy tool all you need to do is press f3 first okay one time just press f3 one time you'll get a message saying that edit has been completed press enter to continue so hit a enter here now when you press enter guys the query from here will be executed as an input and the result will be showing in this output input output so hit enter here if everything is good we should be seeing the table should be created so the statement execution successful sql code zero that means your table got created guys now what you need to do you are in the out, in output data set guys you are in output data set so go back again press f3 you came back to the screen hit enter again to go forward now in the input so you just need to remember f3 and enter guys you just need to remember f3 and an enter key here that's it now i'm gonna insert a record guys i'm gonna try to insert a record manually insert into the table name ibm user dot uh, policy underscore t6d 
and columns all the columns all the column names here customer name and ensued amount policy type then uh, you have the uh, what else we have start date i date and then you have policy status so these are the columns what i have and i want to insert them with the values so the keyword is values here s should be there and then except the numeric values guys rest everything put in single quotes okay if it is not the numeric detail variable guys or column here rest everything now you put it in single quotes like this so i can put a policy number here then i have a customer name here you can give your name there then the amount i don't need to give the amount in single quotes guys so i'm gonna put some 99 status or let's give an equal number not to confuse ourselves later and then the start date okay and the start date is what today here guys even if i don't give with the default system will take the same but i'll give some date random date here like 601 something like this now expired date guys expired date would be how it would be current date plus certain number of years to use so i can do like this guys i can do like this current date plus one year i can do like this in this query itself we can do some certain calculations as well so i'm telling the system to get the current date plus add one year to that we can do this if it is a syntax error we can hard code it also policy status let's say it is an active policy status so how one two three four five this is whole five here and six so do we have six here no something is missing what is that fellow is missing yeah policy type is missing so we're gonna put the policy type here actually i don't need to put it here already by default it will come the same way by default it will come the same thing only so i have now seven fields all together so number name insured amount policy type when it is started when it's going to be expiring here and when is the status of the policy now if i want to execute this query okay before i tell you that if you see these hyphens guys that means commented okay in your query if you don't want to run a query that is already there you don't want to delete it guys then simply comment it by writing hyphens double hyphens here two hyphens are required then only the query whatever you have written the code you have written will be considered as comment now system will try only to execute this query guys now before i tell you this part can anyone tell me can i execute this query guys can i execute this query successfully is there any mistakes in this DB name and uh, schema name. Not required. When creating a table, you need it. When inserting a record into the table, no, not required. This is your query syntax, guys. Insert into table only. You'll not insert into databases. You'll insert into this table. This is your book. Table is your book. Database, table space is your library. So you don't insert into the library. You just put a new line into your book. Can I run this query, guys? That's the point. You, yes. you can run, I think, but uh, commit or something is required. Uh, Anil? Not exactly. If you see the chat box, guys, if you see the chat box, there is some answers already there. I told you guys one of the points that you need to remember. Generally, your admin will not even tell you. When you have this fellow, guys, here, when you have this fellow as primary key, the table cannot be used unless you have an index on it. I'm going to show that, guys. Press F3. OK, hit Enter. This is the query. I got a negative number. Don't need to remember the number, guys. OK, don't need to remember the number. What you need to remember here is the table definition, guys. The definition of the table is incomplete because it lacks a primary index or a unique index on it. Without an index, guys, system cannot use this primary key field so you need to create an index for this so i'm gonna create it 
create index okay now t6d index okay t6d index on which one on your particular table here ibm user or else i need a simple not index i just need unique index cannot create only index guys i need a specifically unique index here we are not going to allow duplicates there so t6d on t6d on the policy number that is how you need to do the first thing so here is the one which is trying to create the query guys okay we are creating an index here on that we can insert a record so i'm gonna run two queries at once okay i can do that i can run two queries at once guys so hit f3 hit enter here f3 and enter so the index has been created successfully guys index has been created successfully here and my insert has able to go successfully and create a record into the table create a row into the table now spoofy tool okay spoofy tool have options to commit the changes here automatically guys like i told you in the other class guys when your process that means the query that you run in a tool or the query that you run in your program or a job if the whole process is successful guys the system automatically have a options to use commits so in your spoofy tool we already have a default option to commit the changes whenever you make a change the system will already commit the changes okay this is the first step guys this is the first step what you need to do here remember this will be your assignment as well i'm going to create only the parent table guys you're going to replicate the same story with the child table as well okay this policy table is a parent table guys which i'm showing you as per your task you need to work on the child table so first step create a table i'll give the code also if you want or you can create your own code as well which or is comfortable so create a table create an index and we just tested whether insert is working fine or not now if you want to select also that's fine you can do like this select star from ibm user dot uh, what is this policy underscore t6d that represents all column nowhere condition that means all rows so f3 hit enter come down this is my policy number this is the customer name this is the insured amount and other things which i inserted now if you see the expired date guys the funny part would be the expired date you see this expired date that is your current date plus one year that's your current date plus one year This is your first step. Any questions in the first step, guys, to do a creating a table? These are the three steps you have to do. Start the database one time, create your table about data sets one time, create the table one time. This is all one time only, guys. Any questions? Uh, Anil, uh, I don't know how relevant this question is. So, can we create a table without giving a primary key constraint? yeah you can do there is okay. no mandatory guys to have any constraint on any column guys there is no mandatory to have any constraint guys even without a primary key also you can still create a table but later on okay later on also you can alter the table but it should not contain any data or else later also you can create an index guys at least you can create a non unique index to run your query faster so there is no mandatory guys to have a table column with a constraint there is no mandatory by default system allows null values now you don't want that start using the constraints okay in that case uh, can we i mean uh, uh, is it okay even if we don't uh, have a index created for that particular table and uh, just try to okay just try to See, insert uh, so insert will work right? if you have a primary key then mm -hmm. then this is required Okay. I'm gonna prove you guys. Okay, I'm gonna prove you. Let's try to insert the same record one more time. Okay, nothing will happen, right? F3, hit enter. Same record I'm trying to insert, guys. You see this number? You can remember this number for the later time. But if you read the message, guys, an inserted value, okay, is invalid because the index. You see this index? 
that is constraining. Constraining means stopping. That is stopping the columns of the table. So no two rows can have duplicates. Table is not telling anything. Primary key is not telling anything. Table and primary key guys is not restricting anything. Index will restrict the duplicate. Index will restrict the duplicate. If I guys, okay, if I don't give the customer name, okay, which is a not null constraint, okay, I'm not giving customer name guys intentionally here. Try to give some other number. Hit F3 and enter. If you see here, an update or insert value is null, but the column cannot contain null value. So now table constraint is coming here and telling that you cannot do it. But when I'm trying to in, uh, duplicate the record, guys, when I'm trying to insert a duplicate record, at that time table was not telling you that because of primary key you cannot insert. It was telling that index cannot have the duplicates. So I told you in the notepad also, guys, table doesn't know how to find duplicates, guys. Table doesn't know how to uh, find the duplicates. So what you need to remember is from your notepad, guys. Some of the knowledge is good. Some of the knowledge is repeated. Any other question quickly? We have to go long. Uh, yeah. Anil, uh, only one thing that expiry date was uh, you had put uh, June uh, 1st, 2022 and the current date plus uh, one year, right? How come? Uh, of course, it might be 2023 uh, 0601, right? No, no, I am not doing calculation on start date. I am doing calculation on current date. Okay. Okay. This is start date I gave like this. Expire okay. date we are calculating, right? As per the program, only you have to calculate the expire date, right? Yeah, correct. Here you have put current date plus one year, right? So it will be exact one year only, no? But there. Oh, this oh okay. is not current date. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Come on. This is, guys, I, I, I may have confused you. This is not current date, guys. This is the start date I gave randomly here. Expire date I have not given directly. I have given a calculation of date here. So this one is not the relevancy, guys. Okay, if you are thinking, Anil, okay. this is one I should get uh, as uh, 202361. No, I'm not doing any calculation on start date, guys. I'm doing calculation on current date. What is your date today? Plus one year. That is what we will be getting, guys. Not with this one. Okay, this is hard coded value. This is calculated value, guys. I'll show you why I did like this also. Anyway, anyway, any other question guys quickly? We need to move fast. There are a lot of compilations to do. Uh, unique index will be created by admin uh, Anil yes. or? Uh, okay. yeah. Yes, admin will do it. He will not tell you. That's the reason people are blind on this topic. 